Moriarty, two possible cap candidates. Phil Bennett and Martin Williams are your commentators. Robert Yemen, a local man, is the official in charge as Neath. Straight to Robert Jones, the Swansea scrum hard. Robert Jones probably assured of a place against the French at Parc de France. Just on the 10 metre line. Phillips, low throw, so well he got a hand to it as Bridges breaks over the 10 metre line. Gets past Clements, looking back inside, finding the number 8 character Welling. Neath immediately into action in characteristic style. The ball made available, and it's all rather furious. A little show of temperament. A sudden burst of activity by Neath. And still the arguments rage. Phil Bennett, a little bit of animosity right at the beginning. It's a good start by Bridges. Look at the gap in that line out, and he pours through. And it's all about support play with the number eight. Tremendous play by Garrett and Wellin. He goes down there, and they look very untidy, rugged there. It's all over the shop, and that's where the boots start to go in. The referee is on the spot. And the penalty going to leave. Kevin Phillips. Wanted to get the game underway, but then uh, thinking the better of it. And giving Paul Williams the opportunity of three points. Williams on the touchline, looks a healthy kick. Oh, he's judged it absolutely perfectly. That's a rather splendid kick and a warning to Swansea. And Paul Williams, normally the outside half, is very much on kicking form. Robert Yemen having... A quick word with the two front rows. The scrum midway between the 22 and the halfway line. Bridges on the short side. Miscued that one, and that's an opportunity for Swansea to recover as they go towards the 22-meter line. Four for Swansea. Ian Davis rummaging around. Seven on the flank, Alan Reynolds. Four one for Robert Jones to challenge and that's held up by the wind that's a difficult one for Paul Williams got hold of it though and Swansea looking for some early revenge Clement and all of a sudden it's Edmonds but there was a deliberate knock on and they'll have to come all the way back to underneath the neath posts it can't be much simpler for Mark Wyatt One of the most consistent uh, point scorers in Welsh rugby. Sharing the duties with Clement. That's it. Neatly slotted over. No problem whatsoever. And all of a sudden, everything all square at the knoll. Robert Jones just looking for spaces. Was he taken out late? That's going to be a penalty. Jones away. And Neath not having retired the 10 metres. Another opportunity for Swansea. Mark Wyatt, the points record holder for Swansea. 376 in one season. Well, he slammed that one. It's a very hard kick against the wind, but it's very accurate indeed. A difficult kick for Mark Wyatt, but absolutely no mistake. Swansea then take over the lead, six points to three. A put in for Neath, and one wonders whether Adrian Davis might be thinking of a drop goal with the following wind. Bridges, control from Llewellyn. And Swansea getting up a little bit too early that time. Colin Phillips asking Paul Williams to uh, make the game even, should the kick go over. Got it Llewellyn, picking up, looking for the gaps there, driving in at the Swansea back row. There's where they're going forward, and there's Mr. Yemen saying that Swansea were caught offside. 
Not a difficult kick for Paul Williams. Quite straight in front of the post and the strength of the wind behind him. No real problem. It's six all after 15 and a half minutes of play. Perch of the show, seven at the back for Neat is Gerald Williams. That's Moriarty challenging for Swansea just over the halfway line. Away come Neath. Davis is meant for Alan Edwards to chase. He'll have to chase no longer. It's an accurate kick. And uh, this fella is certainly peppering the touch lines. Good play to the outside half. He's seeing that the Swansea wings are laying very flat and he's planted the ball over their heads and gaining a huge amount of ground from his forwards. Paul Hitchens with a throw. Product of Tonner. That's his target area. Moriarty at the back. This time going for the middle. Looking for Ian Davis. Opportunity then for Neath. A little bit of room on this short side. Number 11 there is Alan Edmonds, the top try scoring Welsh rugby. But away they go open. Adrian Davis, this is Colin Leaty, checking back inside. He's got Edmonds outside. Leaty, ball under the shoulder, not being able to release it to his winger. But away comes Kevin Phillips, charging at the 22 metre line. The pick up by Adrian Davis. Just drawing in the man. Well, that's good play by the outside half. Bringing the pressure to bear on Robert Jones. Phillips with the throw. Gareth Llewellyn having moved up from his number eight position to the middle of the line out. That's six foot six of him. That's Llewellyn. Bridges held by Moriarty. Kevin Phillips attempting to get the ball away. Gerald Williams underneath it. And Swansea having to recover. Adrian Davis, can he get there? Well, that is a penalty. Tooney could so easily have been a penalty try that one. Adrian Davis taking him out to the action. Kevin Phillips, who's it going to go to? The charge on. Paul Jackson, the try scorer. From that distance, almost unstoppable. And bad defence by Swansea because look now when Jackson comes on the charge, who has to take him? Look, the winger, Bledin, Taylor, only 12 stone, bad marking by the forwards, but good try for Jackson. 10 points to 6 in the background. That may change indeed at must do. 12 points to 6 to Neath. Robert Jones. Clement. This will be a kick in the midfield, but the wind's taken it. Alan Edmonds underneath the knee. Sam through is Mark Davis for Swansea. And Swansea this time go hunting. Jones. Bledin Taylor, Kevin Hopkins, the kick ahead is meant for Arthur Emmett to chase. Paul Williams is over there for Swansea, but everybody misses it. And it's Adrian Davis to the fore. Taken out. One wonders whether it was spotted by Robert Yemen. Swansea now, having been on the attack, now under pressure. And here go Neath once again. Kevin Phillips. Edmonds. Over the 10-metre line as Neath set it up once again. Kevin Phillips again, Adrian Davis. Paul Williams looking back inside, finding Chris Bridges. Bridges, has he found anybody? And here's the attempted drop ball, it's going to creep over there, it's Adrian Davis. Well, that movement had to come to a score either way. Adrian Davis with a drop goal. Certainly, it'll be interesting to see how Neath fair against this wind in the second half. And just in your shot, they could see Bledin Taylor, the, the Swansea winger, he's fairly close to the scrum here. I wonder, will Bridges aim to kick into that box using the wind to float the ball? Bridges, the scrum half, found in the Neath. 
Robert Jones obstructing the uh, channeling of the ball that time. It's Kevin Phillips giving the option to Paul Williams. Distance of uh, 30 metres or so. Against the breeze. Paul Williams. He struck it low. Has he got the strength to get there? Just got there. Saved the crossbar, but it's three points as Neath go into the lead, 18 points to six. David Richards, the Welsh selector, having a, a good look at potential candidates for France next Saturday. Agent Davis with a restart. Edwards breaking for Neath support from Gareth Dwelling. Over the 10 metre line, Kevin Phillips in the action again, Gerald Williams, Colin Leite, Akira Milken is through strongly. That was a thundering tackle, but it was offside, and it was high, and away come Neath, Leite, Kevin Phillips again, wasting absolutely no time, Edwards checking back inside, and finding space, on to Di Joseph. The pick-up back to Welling again, Gerald Williams, Finding Chris Hicks. Hicks, he's got Bridges inside. Hicks, Bridges is going to make it. Oh, what a try by Neath. Excellent try. Great support play. Chris Bridges, the try scorer. And the key to the Neath performance all afternoon has been this key to thought. And you're going to see Aaron Edmonds jinking back, creating gaps in the Swansea defence. But look who he links up with, a pop forward, David Joseph, always supporting the deep. He does very well to lay the ball back, and it's all about fingertip passing. Lovely play by the flanker, Williams. But a lovely pass again, all good support, but all running off the ball. Higgs does ever so well, but look at Bridges losing his men by running off. The gap appears, and he sprints through. Paul Moriarty can't get to him. Excellent try for the scrum half. Clement, not a very good drop back because it's come straight to Hugh Richards. Phil Pugh, man back in action for Neath. Bridges, oh that's a lovely pass and it's come half to Gerald Williams. Kevin Phillips feeds Bridges. Matey, that's meant for Edwards to chase, can he get past Brethren Taylor? Taylor under pressure. Edwards on the pickup. Play is still going on, says Robert Yemen. And the put into Neath. Neath really rampant at the moment. We're in all the second phase possession and really Swansea under the armour. Can't break out from inside the 22. All the options open to Chris Bridges. May well be a back row move. Llewellyn is there. The drive on. Llewellyn, try score. Gareth Llewellyn, the try scorer, the youngster from Fenharan. Swansea down to seven men because Ian Davis, the second row, has been sent off and Neath take full advantage. Good control by young Gareth Llewellyn at number eight. And here comes the second snap shove and Swansea pull back. He's keeping it under control, inches from the line. He picks up, well-controlled try for the young number eight. And that indeed is the final whistle.